Hello ladies and gents, Michael Burhan here from WebFarland.com and I am here with... Jordan Williams. So Sean, uh, who do you work for? Tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, well I'm CEO of Max Studios, founder of Max Studios. Uh, we've been going only for a couple of years now, we're small in the company, only a couple of us there. Um, and our first game is CBS Gold uh, Well our first game is Gold Aftermath, which is made for VR, uh, which is really back here, but VR's not out yet. But CBS Gold is for a normal normal sort of game really. So tell us a little bit about that, what's the game entail? Uh, well it's a first version shooter, um, it's an old style FPS, but it's more about the fun and aspect side of it, lots of shooting, lots of guns. Um, it's free roaming as well, so you can go wherever you want on the ship in the story mode. It's different game modes basically, they're all quite unique, there's a lot of gameplay from there. Um, but in story mode you go around, you can find survivors, um, do quests, you just got to try and take the ship basically. Uh, and it's the main thing about the game is it has random narratives, random storylines. Every time you start a new game, everything will always be different. The storyline might be different, you need different aliens, everything's different. It's always like a challenge. But, uh, especially with the lights out, playing at night, it's, um, always give you a jump scare or two. So, so uh, what would you say the game is in terms of genre? What, what genre would you say it's uh, a part of? Uh, well, it's, it's FPS basically, it's old style FPS, but it's, uh, it's also quite hard as well. We have got easy mode in it now, there is other modes, but we did have a lot of complaints that it was too hard, but it is a bit easy now, but it is a challenge though. Well, I'm an old school gamer, I like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that same here, that's what the game's about really. Uh, there's also another version, uh, another game mode called Skirmish Mode, where you've got Thermodex, and basically you've got, the, again, it's all free roaming, you're one of the last five running the ship and you just got to get off the ship, and it's Thermodex, you get one life to do that. Ten hours to get off the ship, and you know you just got one life to do that. You managed to do it. You get the achievement for it. So, um, in terms of the game itself, you said it's on early access. It's so, um, tell it, is that where you've been getting all the feedback, putting out the base? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been great having an early access. We put it in there mainly to get to get it book tested, to get feedback, to get things as well as a bit of funding. It's zero funding throughout the day. So, tell us uh, how does early access kind of help the developer? Um, well. I mean, for us, we haven't really had that much attention early access, but it's been, been great with the community we have got, the book um, Literally, we was going to release it after Christmas, and if we did, it was a totally different game than we've got now, basically. So we are, you know, really thankful for early access at the end of the day. Uh, especially a game like this, it's a free roaming game, it's a massive game, it's literally hundreds of hours of gameplay in it. You know, it's just, you know, success by yourself and a small team, it makes it harder, really. So in terms of the game in general itself, so is, it, is it a multiplayer access game as well? So no, you can no, play? just single player. Just single. Yeah. Are you going to add a multiplayer component at some point? Uh, well, that was the idea of having it on early access, but we didn't, uh, we didn't manage to get enough interest in that. So further down the line, if it's enough interest, we need to do real four uh, to do the multiplayer sort of side of it. So. Awesome. Um, so is there any way that we can kind of contact you, so if anyone wants to contact the development studio? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can, you can contact us through the website, it's macstudios.co.uk. Uh, and then there's also different websites for different games like www.goldship or cdfgoldship.com um, and then there's also Steam, if you do a search for CDF Goldship or Goldship Aftermath you'll, uh, um, So in, in terms of uh, basically like Twitter, Facebook, are you guys available on that? Sorry? Uh, are you guys on Twitter and Facebook? Uh, yeah, yeah, on Twitter, Mag, I, I can't remember what the answer is, we don't use it that much on it Check below guys, <laughs> we'll put the contact information at the bottom for you uh, and of course now this is Michael Burhan saying that we've got gameplay. Have you?